It is absolutely gorgeous weather here in Miyazaki. Lily and I had a great couple hours this morning uh, taking a wakeboarding class. She was a little afraid of the bigger waves. She got, you know, swamped a couple times. But it is beautiful. I am so glad we came. Kumiko wants to come every year. I think I could go for that. I'm so jealous of the hibiscus they can grow here. I mean, look at this gorgeous thing. I couldn't hope to have one that size no matter what I did. I said I wasn't going to vlog very much here. I lied. I definitely recommend Miyazaki. It's a nice place. It feels more tropical. All these tropical trees, all these... I don't know what the hell they're called. I kind of wish we lived here. Of course, I also kind of wish we lived in Sasebo. I got some friends living there now. Just uh, going now to enjoy Kodomo no Kuni, or the kids' country, a little mini amusement park area attached to the hotel. So the kids will be happy, I hope. Uh, I'm just going to hope the kids are happy. I want to go back in the sea. I hope I can. It was wonderful. It felt so good, but I got roasted. Always make sure you have a waterproof sunscreen. Mine wasn't. And we're on the train. It reminds me of a song my father used to sing to me when I was a boy. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, can't remember the words. I don't care what train I'm on as long as it's the end. I'm pretty sure that my father didn't sing that song accurately. I don't know if he made it up himself. I don't know. Are you having fun in Kodomo no Kuni Kumiko? Not bad. Okay. We stuck Lily in a bounce tent and say, stay there. She didn't want to go on the train. She wanted to be in the bouncy tent. So, cool. <laughs> even people we don't know are waving to us. People love trains. I love it. They even got little crosswalk cards. <laughs> don't care for the rather authentic beeping sound, though. Where is Lily? Where is Lily? There's Lily. I'm so jealous. Lilia gets to do bungee trampoline. I want to, but it's only up to 80 kilograms. I'm only, you know, over 25% over the limit. Come on. Oh, excellent. Oh, yeah, I got that on film, actually. So, Lily, how was that? Good. All right. Bye -bye. You do know you're coming right back, aren't you? We just had the ultimate snow cone. Although it wasn't at home, it was in a plate. So soft and fluffy. It doesn't even seem like ice. So delicious. We had to order another one. We got a mango and a chocolate, and now we're getting a strawberry because they're just so good. This guy's fast, too. Arigato! Delicious. And now I have to eat it. Nice artificial waterfall. If you can't have the real thing, go for artificial. It doesn't seem to work right, actually, no. I want one of these in my garden. What do you think? Let me know. Is it worth the trouble? I am absolutely roasted. Uh, but just mostly on my arms and the back of my neck. And my nose, I'm sure, is quite red. But I had a lot of fun doing it, so the pain is worth it. I can live with the pain. This is a really nice place. With three small children... It's not that easy to do so much because getting ready to go out, go out, you know, whatever. Everything takes time. But it is so nice that just a short walk from the hotel, you get this seashore. It's not big surf, but it's nice. It's fun. It's good. And, and the sand is nice and lovely. I had a friend who said he came down to... Miyazaki for surfing and that the, the beaches were horribly dirty and there were lighting tubes and whatnot and 
Maybe there were when he came down. That was 10 years ago. Sand's great. I love it here. I want to come down to Miyazaki more often. So Lily and I have come down to the beach just to collect some shells. You know, shells? gotta be done. Has to be done. Not collecting shells is not an option. Maybe some driftwood too. Don't you wish you were here? Uh, I wish I was here. No, wait a minute. I am here. Lucky me. Although, considering the fact that by the time you watch this, I've already gone home, maybe I shouldn't say I am here. I was here. Yeah, that's it. I think I've gone nuts. That's okay, though. So we're on our third day in Miyazaki here. Our last day. We'll be heading home later this afternoon sometime. I'm not sure when. I'm going to hit a few shrines first, really nice shrines in the area. One that is so cool, it gets its own video, but you'll see that later. I got a horrible sunburn yesterday when uh, bodyboarding. I want to try and stay out of the sun, but that's not going to happen today. Lots and lots of sunscreen today. So there's Aoshima. We're going over there. Aoshima would mean Blue Island. This interesting geographical feature you can see right here is called Oni no Sentakita, which means... Well, I've seen it translated in English as devil's washboard or ogre's washboard. Basically, just these ripples in the rock that make them look like an old-fashioned washboard. But just right here is so peaceful and nice, I could totally live somewhere like this. Thing is, if you lived here, you'd probably never come out here, you know? You never do the local stuff. The bridge over to Aoshima is a nice little walk. I don't want to go home this afternoon. Probably can't see them in the video, but there's fish stuck in the washboard. Really small ones. The washboard is quite impressive. I don't know what you'd want to wash here, though. So what kind of stuff do you think you can wash on this demon's washboard? Demon's underwear. That's what you wash here, apparently, according to my wife. So this is Aoshima Jinja. I believe that's the name. Blue Island Shrine. It just feels way more tropical than other shrines I've been to around our area. The tropical plants all around us, palm trees. It almost feels like we're in a different country, but we're just in Miyazaki. And out through a side gate, nice in here. It's worth coming down this path just for the temperature drop. And it kind of feels like we're in a jungle. Yeah. Are you sure we're still in Kyushu? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. This is interesting here, these little ropes tied to the tree where people have tied on colorful ribbons and some money. And then right over here, there's a big pile of broken pottery and some shells. If you buy your shell or your clay dish thingy, 200 yen for a clay, 300 yen for a shell, whip it out here, and if it gets inside that square, your wish is supposed to come true. We're not doing this one. There's another shrine we're going to that has another cool thing, kind of like that. We're going to do that. Good pink. Uh, they want uh, uh, some lovers, oh. some marriage, some kids. Okay. Yellow is um, good job. Okay. How about uh, green? Green is victory. Purple? Yep. And healthy. Healthy. And what's the white one? White one is azase. Other, okay. <laughs> I already forgot purple. Oh. Green, I already forgot what purple. Health. Ah, health, success, job, relationships, other. Choose what you like, tie it to that tree. Tree's thingy. Right, <laughs> and it's mostly pink. People come here, want boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, kids. Oh no, this is a nice little place. If you're in Miyazaki, <laughs> come to Aoshima. I'm Sparkus, and I approve of this travel destination. But who cares? Stopped in for some more snow cones, need it, shaved ice, whatever. There's a beautiful tree here. I think it's like a gajumaru. Even from the branch, still more roots going down. I mean, it's just a great tree. I want one of those in my garden too. What do you think, Amigo? Yeah, this is the first time I've had mango snow cone and 100% pure mango juice. We've decided to do our laundry, so we've come down to the devil's washboard. Well, no. But there's all kinds of little crabs and fish. Yeah, let's see what we can get. Oh, hey, big ones, big crabs. He got away. He got away. I just love these patterns 
that have been weathered into the rock. I don't know if pattern is the right word for it, but the shapes. This is beautiful. I guess the tide has gone out, so it's left all kinds of fish behind. And here and there, you can see the water still flowing out. I'd love to have a big truck here and just load it up with a bunch of these uh, nice shaped stones to accessorize in the garden. Accessorize the garden? Well, whatever. So I'm Mark Visser, a.k.a. Sparkus, doing my laundry with the ogres. If you like what you see, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, whatever you like. I've had a lot of fun here in Miyazaki. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I didn't intend to do this, but I couldn't stop myself. I'll see you back here for another regular I Live in Japan very soon, I hope. One more video down farther south.